Well, this is the first installment of the CNC upgrade for the mill. I finally got the ball screws on and the DROs installed. I ordered the ball screws from Automation for Less. They're the 5mm pitch C7 ball screws. Um, yeah, they seem to be working pretty nice. It's nice not to have any backlash. I just got it finished, just got the table put together. And uh, I still got the handles to mill, so I'll probably show some clips of that and then before I do that I'm gonna bring the camera over and show you some show you what I did uh, probably not the best upgrade or the best there's things I would like to improve I ordered the X screw uh, about 100 to 200 millimeters too long um, but it's better to have it too long than too short so I made a, a spacer and adapter for that so I didn't have to cut it down and go get it remachined because I don't have a lathe. So, uh, nice thing about automation for less is it comes with both ends machined. You got the fixed bearing set and the floating bearing. All part of it. You can order it with the with the screw matched, ready to go, and it's right around two hundred dollars a screw, depending on the length. It, it changes just a little bit, but to already have the bearings mounted and everything all you have to do is drill a few holes for your your adapter plate to adapt it to the mill man it was worth the, the extra money rather than going through um, uh, the, the one guy on eBay and I didn't really I heard a lot of bad things uh, looking through the forums about his shipping so um, automation for less um, package right perfect uh, no complaints uh, absolutely beautiful screws worth the money um, a note on eBay shipping, these are the mangled boxes that my DROs came in and all I did was open the end. I mean this was, I was surprised that the, the DROs weren't damaged. I mean it's like the boxes you put on the shelf and they just threw a shipping label on them. It was just surprisingly ridiculous um, which is one of the main reasons why I don't buy from eBay along with them screwing me over but that's a different story um, yeah here comes some close-ups this here is the uh, the adapter I had to make this is the floating bearing end and the extra ball screw hanging out the end here maybe I can get a picture underneath if there's enough light but uh, this is the uh, the YDRO. It was about forty bucks, give or take. It was because of shipping. I had rush shipping put on it. But uh, all I did was drill a couple holes, uh, thread and tap. I had to make make that bracket, which is just eighth inch aluminum, and then drill the hole there. And that works out pretty nice, especially for under a hundred dollars. I'm I got DROs on the machine. And the X axis is just in the dovetail there for the mechanical stops. Um, I decided to put it on the front, at least for now, because it was easy. And uh, this is where the uh, stop bracket, center bracket, used to mount. So all I did was machine a quick groove on that. I still got to tighten that down. But. Um, this is the the uh, Y bearing, the plate. Haven't painted it yet. My temporary handle um, works just so much smoother. And then the uh, the X axis plate painted, and the temporary handle. Um, and then these are where I got the DROs mounted. This is the Y and this is the X. Um, it's nice, they're self-contained with batteries, got magnets, they have a, a deal where you can mount the plate. So I'm probably gonna make a bracket that hangs off the, the side over here so it's easier to see, but I usually stand right around this area when I'm machining anyway, so these will work for now. But um, they're, they're pretty responsive. They're not as fast as I would like, but 
it'll be nice having deer rows. So, and they're a must uh, when you do the uh, the ball screw upgrade because you don't have any vernier on your screws anymore. So you have to go with the DRO setup. But um, yeah, that's that's the upgrade so far. And when I do CNC, I'll hopefully use this pl the same plates and be able to put standoffs to the the stepper motors. It'll probably stand off. I don't know, five or six inches, hopefully less, because there's going to be a, a a coupler, and then the motor. So. Um, it'll be nice having the ball screws in the mean, meantime and then when I sell enough knives I can afford the steppers and drivers and the whole nine yards um, on a different rant uh, here's some of the the CAD drawings I came I I designed for this for the Rung Fu um, and um, so the, the uh, CAD drawings for the, the plates and, uh, and whatnot, and maybe I'll throw on a few notes or whatever for anybody, anybody else that's looking to upgrade their, their uh, round column mills. I'll put that up. Um, if you email me through YouTube or whatever, um, I'll give them to you for free. They didn't take me long to, to design and and frankly I wish I would have had drawings especially some sort of size measurement when I was ordering the screws rather than messing with a guy that wants to charge money for it. I think it's better for people to give information to each other freely. So if you want the, uh, the CAD drawings just email me um, and I'll, I'll be happy to throw them in a zip file and, and either AutoCAD file format or the DWG, which pretty much any, uh, I think, uh, SOLIDWORKS will open a DWG file, so almost any CAD file uh, will open, oh, CAD program will open a DWG, so I'll send them the in DWG if you want, uh, electric co electronic copies, and that way you got what I came up with uh, as far as measurements and everything, and it, everything seemed to fit right. Um, aside from my own machining mistakes, I had to redo one plate because apparently I was too tired when I was doing it because I screwed it up pretty bad. But um, that's the uh, Rung Fu upgrade so far, and uh, I was gonna show some footage from the gun show I was at last, last weekend with the, one of my tables, but it was a slow gun show, so I didn't feel like. Uh, taking much for video. It was uh, the first time they did it at that location, so it was pretty slow. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, check my Facebook page out for any updates on knives that I have for sale and all that. Um, that's usually what I update first is Facebook. And watch more. Uh, I haven't updated my website for quite a while, so uh, that's lastfrontierknives.com if you want to check out the website. Um, and Facebook, uh, Last Frontier Knives on Facebook, or Thomas Van Krivlin. Thanks for watching. Bye. Here's the uh, the Y, and you can see how I got it extended out. I had to cut that webbing and grind uh, a little bit into the column base to get the ball screw to clear. Um, to get the full full range out of the the Y. So, thought I'd, thought I'd show that, um, just the direction the nut is. Um, I might have been able to forge it if the, you know, if the nut was turned around the other way towards that direction, but it is what it is, and I didn't want to take the, the nut off and have bearings go everywhere, so.